My name is Stefan and today I would like to take you on a quick tour of the Unity SDK from Sentry. So what I've prepared here for us is inside Unity a little demo project. Um, we enter the play mode and once we hit play, since it's a demo, there's, there's no actual game behind it. And what we get is another reference exception. So this is a very typical scenario of a bug that could happen in any game. Um, but, other, but unless a user tell you what happened, um, you have no way of knowing. So what Sentry does is it captures those errors and bugs for you and provides you with a dashboard to help you um, provide context information to those issues and helps you iron out those bugs. So to do that, we head over to the search engine of our choice and we look for Sentry Unity. That takes us to the Sentry documentation. And here we've provided um, a link for you that you're um, free to copy. Back inside the Unity editor, uh, window, package manager. And in the top left, there's a little plus icon and that allows you to add a package from a git URL. Um, we we'll paste that in there and um, after we edit, it takes a second or two for the package to download and install. And what has changed now is at the top, we have a new context menu, tools, Sentry, and that opens up the editor configuration window for Sentry. The only thing that's missing from being um, correctly configured is the DSN. And the DSN is basically a link for the SDK to know where to send those errors to. To retrieve that DSN, we go to sentry.io. I've already created a little demo project here first. The cogwheel on the top takes us to the project settings, client keys DSN, and here we can copy the DSN and paste it back into the configuration window. With that, Sentry is fully configured. We can close this, uh, we can enter play mode again. And this time, if we hit play, we run into the same issue, but Sentry gets notified. So on the issues page, you can see, you can see the newly captured error, another reference exception. This is the exact same message that we saw in the console. And we, if we open up, the issue itself, we get access to all the context information sent to us able to capture for us in combination with the bug. That means tags that tell you about um, on which device it happens, um, it tells you on which operating system, um, as much about the hardware as we can figure out. Um, those tags are freely customizable, so you can add your own. A little further down, we have breadcrumbs. There's already some integration to capture, for example, the Unity logger as a breadcrumb, uh, the non reference exception, and even further down, um, all the additional information and context we can, um, we can capture. So that concludes the little demo. Um, if you want to try it out for yourself, hit the link in the description, and I hope you enjoyed.